So to start off, I would like you guys to go into settings and then go into video. And what I want you guys to do here is just put everything on off or just disable everything. Uh, it's the best way to play this game and basically make it so you actually have FPS. Because this game has really really bad um, optimization. So just put everything on low. Uh, I put anti-aliasing on because I like the way it looks. Uh, that's about it. And that's for like the in-game settings. Uh, I'll talk more about some of my configs that I use uh, later. I also use 1.5 zoom sensitivity, it's just like what I prefer. I'll also go over my crosser afterwards. So this is what my crosser looks. It's like a dot, kind of like it. I have an overlay on or like a crosser overlay. So it's like a, on my screen, it's just like a large dot. But this is how my game looks in game. Shadows are gone. So there's no shadows and there's a like the game feels really really clear and you can see everything and in game i usually get around 240 frames in the landing stage and then later it drops down to like 170 150 depends on how chaotic the team fights are other than that this is just how my game looks as you can see shadows are completely on uh, with this so stick around and I'll show you how you do the rest so what I want you guys to do now next is go to deadlock go to properties go into installed files and hit look through then you are gonna find this section you're gonna open game you're gonna go to set it all config you can scroll down until you find video.txt and you're gonna open this so after you open the video.txt you're gonna find this uh, you're going to change volume fog width, volume fog height, and volume fog depth. And you're also going to change uh, this shadow distance override. I have it linked in the paste bin down below. So just open that and you will find it. And you basically just change whatever uh, is stated there. Next up, while you're on this page, you go ahead and find a random file. It could be this. You copy it and then you paste it. Then you open it, right? Then you just remove what's whatever is inside. And in the same paste bin, you're going to see my auto exact file. So you're going to copy that and just paste it here. And what you're going to do is you're going to save this. Right? You're going to input this. You're going to change the name to auto right? And you're going to save that. I already have one, so I don't want to override it. But you have this. You input whatever I have. This is basically just going give to give you more frames. This one is going to remove hit markers because I find that annoying. This is going to make it so... Oh, yeah. It's going to... This one, this setting is going to change the latency mode that is in NVIDIA control panel to basically ultra. It's the same, same thing. This one has something to do with network. So if you have a good network, you just put this amount. Uh, this is a quick cast bind that I use uh, in game. So right here I have my Z button and my mouse 4 bound to quick cast on item number 2 and item number 4. So that means in game I can quick cast items. That means is on this key, which is my mouse button, and Z, which is this bind, I have no quick cast. I just click the button once and it automatically um adds the items on top i don't have to click and then use it so instead of basically clicking and then doing this i can just click one button and it auto casts on the enemy it's quite good i recommend having two binds because usually you don't really need more than two like items like this i mean you have items like rescue beam is quite good on this because you can literally just do this and automatically cast on your teammates right it's quite good same with items like curse, for example. Like, let's say there's a hectic team fight, you see one guy you need to curse, boom, insta cursed, right? But you have to be aware that this quick cast is gonna make it so you have to be more precise with it. You can't just hold the quick cast out and you have to like hover and all oh, this guy, right? You can still, if you quick cast into the wall, then you can do it, right? But as long as you're not looking at them, you can use it like normally. But what I just like doing is just quick casting on uh, whatever. It's really, 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 really strong. Or it's just like a quality of life, right? It just feels good. You don't have to click multiple buttons. You just click one button and that's it. The next thing you need to do uh, at the same time is you go into Steam and you go to properties again and you go into general. And you put this exec auto exec.gfg. You put this command in. 
what this this essentially does it, it makes it so this file is gonna run when you open the game that's how i'm able to have this quick cast bind uh, if you want a different bind you just change the bind right from mouse forward to let's say you want quick cast on like your e key or like your Z q key or whatever you might need to unbind that key in in game but you'll figure that out other than that this is pretty much what i need use in terms of my auto exec and my settings or like my con video configs rather next up i want to talk about nvidia control panel so what you're going to do here is you're going to go from global on change 3d settings you're going to go to program settings and you're going to add deadlock or project 8 rather so the most important part is latency mode put this in ultra you always do this for every game right Monitor technology, I just put fixed refresh because I don't have G-Sync on my main monitor, so I just put it. Application, you put it the highest avail available. And then you go to power management mode, you put maximum performance. Then you go to texture filtering, you put this on high performance as well. And that is pretty much everything you need to really do in terms of NVIDIA control panel, I'm pretty sure. The other thing that I have going on in the control panel is that I really, I like changing the desktop image. Or I like changing the... Um, desktop color to 70% it just looks more vibrant I like it and that is pretty much everything you really need in terms of deadlock one last thing you could do is you could go into properties again and go and browse your files again go into game go to bin win64 then scroll down to Pro project 8 right click this go to properties go to compatibility and then uh, you do deactivate full screen optimization. Then you edit PT settings. And then you adjust the scaling by program. This essentially lowers your input latency and it's really, 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 really good. Uh, I personally do not use this right now because I have the overlay on. Because once you have uh, these settings on, any overlay doesn't work. So my crosser overlay doesn't work. So that's another thing you have to look out for. But if you don't care about the crosser overlay, this is quite good to have. Because it literally just lowers your input latency. And for the cross here, I want you guys to enable console. If you go into options and then enable console. You guys are going to press F7. You're going to open this console. And you're literally just going to copy paste whatever I have, I have in the paste bin one by one and just enter it. And you should have the same crosser as me. Uh, if you want to change the color, you just change it in, in this part. So if you want red or green or cyan or like anything, you just change it here. You should change the color of the crosser. And yeah, that should be everything really that I have done in terms of my game. Uh, there's nothing really else I've done. Everything else is mostly just default because I'm used to it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and leave a like and a sub and uh, hope to see you guys later.